Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the sign of Taurus for December 2020. So before we begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone, and especially anyone who's watching my channel for the first time. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe and to select the all notification bell and to like um, this video um, as this will help my channel and with all the algorithms, etc. Um, just to bring your attention to some of the content on my channel, um, I post weekly angel readings, um, general readings for everyone um, on Saturdays. And um, also I post daily card messages um, here on my community board on YouTube, as well as my Facebook page. And I think you can also find um, it through Twitter. So if you, you know, check out the descriptions below for that, you'll um, be aware of that. Also, um, I've been offering through the pandemic um, to any of my clients, um, past or present or, um, or future, um, for the month of December, my half hour reading for $77 is available for one full hour. And all you need to do is go to my channel, theangelschool.com. I'm sorry, my website, theangelschool.com. And on that service page, you would select the half hour reading. And then within 24 hours on any business day, I will s send you a confirmation email noting that special offer. And there you would provide, there would be instructions to provide your availability. Okay. So let us now think of anything else. I think that's it. So let's take a deep breath together. and really connect in with your heart space and really allow yourself to um, through your heart space just really be having awareness of your intuitive faculties and the angels are um, bringing through some energies to open your third eye and um, Taurus, you might want to work with uh, lapis lazuli is the crystal that I just saw. Um, I usually have it sitting around here somewhere, but this is a small piece um, just to help with your third eye. They're showing me um, a naked behind, which is my symbol for someone being maybe feeling a little um, exposed or taken advantage of um, and the body of this person turned into a tree so this um, indicates that you might need to really kind of um, in this month be more in your spiritual practice as a way to really ground yourself and to um, really tap into those intuitive faculties that will um, help you to sort of apply your practicality more efficiently. So it's almost like you need, um, I see the word freedom, and it's like you need a boost of, of um, confidence and creativity and this word freedom, it feels like, you know, you're, you're really looking for opportunities that will grant you more freedom. So you're not looking to get involved in something, um, let's say a job, for instance, or some kind of project or um, that you might take on. You don't want to do it if it's going to take up more of your time. You know, like, let's say if you have this project um, where you want to do something in your house or you want to redecorate or you, you know, you've been planning to clean out the garage or something like this. And um, you want this to be efficient. You want this to not take up more of your time, to put more on your plate, but you want it to actually free you up. And, and this is a significant challenge they're writing. 
because it requires that you do have to give it some time um, in order to get that which you are seeking. You know, everything, unfortunately, does require time, meaning work. So think less about the time and focus more on the, the work itself, the, the, the passion that you have for this, um, this outcome. Focus on the passion that you have for this outcome because it's a very tricky thing about time. Time is so um, hard to pin down and you can't, you can't shape it, you can't control it. But when you focus through your heart, when you focus on your passion, when you focus on the right aspect of something, then time seems to be uh, elastic in some ways. But when you focus with a lot of tension, then time seems to be restrictive. So be aware that you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to give some time. Time is what we, is what we have here. And, and time is how we use, time is what we use to allow the soul to experience the realization of our goals and dreams, which is why we came. We didn't come to do it instantaneously. We didn't come to do it without the work. You know, have you heard me say recently, you know, you want, you came to, for, to give birth to your ideas and have that birth process, that expansion, take place through your own physicality and your, the capacity of your imagination. And you know, Taurus, that getting in, in you know, getting your hands involved in the dirt is really the great pleasure. And so don't forget that you came here for that and don't forget to have take, you know, uh, refresh that outlook and focus in this way. This is what we mean about focusing through positivity. It's the right connection to fulfilling something that you desire. All right, so let's take a look and see what message is coming from your Archangel for the month around this. And so we have this, the card balance here. And so the, this is the Archangel Zacchaeus, and his name means the righteousness of God. Archangel Zacchaeus um, can, does assist you in terms of with the mental aspect and also that third eye um, where in terms of, you know, working with complex ideas and, you know, really trying to um, be aware of what's the right time, the, the divine timing for things. And this comes from, first of all, just having, cultivating this overall balance you know, you're, you're, you can't work with the laws of the universe effectively if you are not taking care of yourself and your environment. So the element of sleep is very important to your physical body. Nourishment is also an area element that is important to your physical body and other things, what you watch, who you interact with, all of this, if you really are observant and you make a practice of good habits and healthy habits in these various areas of your life, you are then creating um, harmony with the earth. They keep bringing up this word, it keeps flashing in front of me. And this brings your body in, a, in harmony with the earth. And when your body is in harmony with the earth, hope is the word they're writing, resonates through your 
entire being, especially your physicality. And with this hope, you are more accurately able to assimilate and approximate the alignment through your intuitive faculties more accurately and clearly. So it's very, very important that you pay attention to the elements of your general care and well-being, welfare. Because once you have that right balance and mix for you, then your creativity, the sky's the limit, time will automatically be more receptive to you and how you need it and allow you to get the things that you need to get done. All right, so let's take a look at the card for the, from the message from your guardian angels. And it's the seven of emotion. So I just get already a sense of this, you know, this is where the vulnerability comes in because we are afraid to make decisions. Um, maybe because we are feeling a bit emotional or extra sensitive in some ways. And that is a sign that you're not balancing these elements of your well, of your well being and, and well care, welfare, right? So that you're, that those elements are out of alignment. And then that's when you can't sort of, your mind can't focus and you find that your mood shifting quite a lot and being um, indecisive. All right, so the card says, your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. So think about what that is. And I'm sure the bells are going off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. And again, this comes when you take care of yourself. Your choices are automatically clearer to you. So if you're really struggling with something and you're in this, the number seven is about reevaluating things, making you know, adjustments, discoveries, you need, you need rest, relaxation, you need proper nourishment, proper exercise, proper nourishment for the mind, the things that you're doing in the, in the interactions. You need to bring those elements into balance, find harmony and resonance and alignment with the earth and within your body, and then the clarity will rise to the surface. All right, so Taurus, I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And have a beautiful month. God bless you.